<laughs> Nobody wants a handout. I was coming to that. <laughs> yeah. You, you will uh, finish this bottom-up nonsense. Because it's a very strange economic principle. I was coming to that. that what is your view on that bo bottom-up economic model? What I'm telling you, yeah. just by a stroke of the pen, mm -hmm. cut taxation by 50%. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be able mm -hmm. to earn a living without going for a handout. Mm -hmm. Bottom-up mm -hmm. is literally another way of adding corruption. It's actually in my view, uh, saying, let's collect money, go and give to Mamamboga and give to others. Well, in fact, even under President Kibaki's government and ourselves, and by the way, I keep on saying, as Kibaki's loyal vice president <laughs> for five years and used to fight with Raila of all his senior. <laughs> okay? <Yes. laughs> you remember that? Yes. Um, we started the Women Development Fund mm. and others, which is the whole thing is implementation. It's always a problem. So the Mamambogas should ideally be catered for. But what bottom up is saying mm -hmm. is they want to say, you know, let's do Arambi to give to women again. When you go back to the spirit of Arambi, mm -hmm. you are saying we steal for the for all the parastato chiefs must be bringing a million shillings to a certain uh, and the chiefs again chukua kuku mm -hmm. eh nataka pesa tukafanyie watu Arambi. Actually bottom aram, bottom up is a reintroduction of Arambi. Because even if it is William Ruto, he cannot sustain it. Yeah. He can't sustain it. So he'll have at some stage to say, bring me money to take to the people. <laughs> Where is that money going to come from? <laughs> from the parastatos. Well, yeah. And a lot of these parastatos have been bankrupted, corruptly. Good example, Kenya Power and Lighting Corporation. The effect is, it's very expensive to establish business. It's another issue, manufacturing sector.